fingers during Pondelec checkpoints. While limited to visual search, the checkpoints of the Commission on Elections to enforce the ban on firearms and explosives also allow brief detention of the occupants of vehicles who are required to answer brief questions. However, the occupants or motorists cannot be compelled to step out of the vehicle, compelled to open the trunk, glove compartment, or bags, or be subjected to physical or body search in the absence of any reasonable ground to believe that a person has just committed, is about to commit, or is committing a crime. These are some do's and don'ts in Comelec checkpoints provided in the Resolution Number 10741 of the Agency in the Proper Implementation of the Gun Ban during the election period from January 9 to June 8, 2022. Under the rules, motorists are requested to dim the headlights and turn on cabin lights. Only visual search is required, which involves the officer simply looking into the vehicles and flashes a light therein without opening the car's door. To avoid inconvenience, motorists must prepare their driver's license, ORC of the vehicle, and other pertinent documents needed if traveling or delivering goods. Beyond that, the search must be authorized by a warrant from an appropriate authority. Warrantless search can only be made in the following. When the occupant of the vehicle acts suspiciously or exhibits a natural reaction, or conduct that may convince the officer manning the checkpoint that a criminal activity exists or on the basis of prior confidential information which are reasonably corroborated by other attendant matters. In cases that checkpoints are ignored, the team leader must immediately report the incident to adjacent teams and establish roadblocks to apprehend the fleeing persons of interest. Any person found to be in possession of firearms Ammunitions or explosives without any authority must be apprehended while fully respecting his or her constitutional rights. Finally, a checkpoint must be well lighted, properly identified and manned with uniform personnel and signed boards with an indication that there is a Comelec checkpoint to give sufficient notice to the public as they approach the checkpoint. Nevertheless, election officers and law enforcers are reminded that their search at the Comelec checkpoints must be made only by members of the unit designated to man the same and impose minimum inconvenience without violating the civil, political, and human rights of any person.